egg pressure test has the top seven racing to replicate the perfect scotch egg. <laughs> Taya's hands have seized up under the pressure. Why are my hands freezing up? But she's determined to keep cooking. I am using the palms of my hands and I'm trying to pack it as best as I can without the use of my fingers. Just calm down, just calm down, Taya. The idea of getting it into a hot fryer to seal that outer crust, keep those wonderful juices in from that sausage meat, crispening up the crumbs is super important. Man, the tension in this kitchen is intense. One minute, you have one minute left! Listen to it in here. You can hear a pin drop. They are focused. Somebody's going home today, so everybody wants to put their best effort forward. I can't open anything. Five, four, three, two, one. Hands up! Bring it in, darling. I don't know what's wrong. All right, home cooks, please bring your scotch eggs to the front. I'm panicking because I don't want to lose this challenge. I'm panicking because I don't want to cook again. And it's super frustrating because I know how to cook a scotch egg. Hello, Barry. Chef. Any Scottish people in your family, Barry? With a name like McConaughey. <laughs> yeah, there's a couple. <laughs> My grandpa McConaughey could never get me to wear a kilt, but he got me to make a scotch egg. We noticed that your egg was in the longest. Do you think it could be overcooked? I'm hoping it's not over. You can often tell a good scotch egg by the weight. A good even ratio of meat to the egg is important. But what's even more important is the cook on that egg. Yes, chef. What do you think? I'm pretty happy with that. If I was in your shoes, I'd be pretty happy with that. Looks like a, a pretty even coating of the sausage grind around it. Let's give it a taste. Good and crispy. Love that combination of that perfectly cooked egg that is still nice and warm with that crispy outer crust. Great job. Thanks, Barry. Thank you, Chef. It's perfectly cooked. I want to eat it. How are you feeling? Feeling really upset right now because I thought I would kill this one and I don't know what happened. My hands just seized up. Despite all that difficulty, you got it on the plate. Crisp. Sounds great to me already. How long did you cook your egg for? Ten minutes. The egg is slightly under. But look at the sausage. It's perfectly ground. It's even. The sausage surrounding that egg is absolutely delicious. This is really awesome. I am hoping and praying that my flavors are enough to get me up to the gallery. Aaron! Chef Alvin? I love surprises. Do you like surprises? A little less when I'm on this side of the surprise, Chef. I hope it's a good surprise. I hope so, too. Like what's inside Cracker Jack box? Look at that. One minute, 30 seconds more. That would be a home run. Sausage. Very, very even coat. Very, very crispy. Seasoning, perfect. Scotch eggs. I locked this one down. There is a lot riding on this scotch egg because this is my comeback dish. Alice, how are you feeling? Nervous. <laughs> It's a little irregular in shape, not as smooth around that egg as I think it could have been. I think it's a little on the darker side. It's a little under. 
also see the sausage meat a little uneven here, and it's just starting to pull away from the egg. Flavor overall is, is good, but the egg is underdone, a little irregular in shape. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, May. Hi, Chef Alvin. I think the color is quite nice. Maybe it's slightly dark, but shape, nice and round. You know, the magic is going to show when I saw into this. There it goes. Let's see. A minute or two under. Seasoning, it's just right. But you know, as I bite into the scotch egg, you can see by all the crumbling around the sausage meat, that starts to fall apart. It's not staying firm. So I don't get that crunch I want. Miranda. Chef Claudio. Nice crunch. Unfortunately, your egg's undercooked. Yep. You didn't hit that sweet spot. One egg, one minute. And you can see here, Miranda, it's thick here, it's thin here. And there's another big problem. Where the sausage is thin, it's overcooked. That's not good. I think for the most part, I'm technically strong. I definitely feel that I'm one of the front runners in the pack. What I'm very concerned, actually, is how big your egg is. That could be due to too much meat or you know, it didn't bind, and it started to debind. Cook on the egg, slightly on the undergun side. The sausage, it's not that even. You nailed it with your flavor, but the technical aspect, that may cost you. It was a difficult challenge. There was a lot of technical mistakes. I'm not happy. I'm out of myself. Right now, I think my odds are pretty slim. I'm hoping I did enough to get myself to the next level. The biggest challenge for this group was cooking that egg well done. I'm very upset that my egg didn't turn out. I absolutely don't want to be in that head-to-head -head competition. It turns out that this deceptively simple pub snack is packed with technical challenges. Only one of you managed to overcome them all. Barry, congratulations. <laughs> Very good. You're safe from elimination. Now make your way and up to the highlands of the gallery up there, young laddie. Aye, matey. <laughs> Be on your way. <laughs> Going up to the gallery. This is a fun, fun walk top of the world. No one else matched Barry's success, but two home cooks gained a slight edge thanks to their tastes and textures. Aaron and Taya, you're safe. Oh, my God. Congratulations. Oh, my God. I lock this one down. The rest of the day is a spectator sport. I am so happy. I do not have to cook again. <laughs>